More than 50% of women diagnosed each year with breast cancer undergo mastectomies. Though the majority of patients don't know the danger of showering after surgery without protecting the surgical drain sites. Once they have drains in place, um, we tell them not to get it wet. Uh, the incisions themselves, we can actually put some glue over and make them watertight, which would allow them to shower right away. But the drains we can't uh, because they're penetrating through the skin and it draws the fluid out, but it can let bacteria go back in. The problem with water is, as clean as we think it is, it's laden with bacteria. And some of those bacteria can travel up there, set up household, and give you a rampant infection, which can then lead to just complete loss of the breast or the tissue. TPAS Breast Center Director Dr. Imran Amami has taken care of thousands of breast cancer patients and says everyone should understand the catastrophic complications which can occur when mastectomy drain sites get wet. The understanding of, of wounds and wound healing and wound management has really evolved over the past 10 years. We should have no tolerance for telling our patients just go ahead and shower with drains in because clearly whatever comes out of, out of the faucet or anywhere else is just not sterile. You know, I understand that there's a shower shirt which is designed explicitly for this purpose to keep the upper body, uh, to shed the water while you're showering and keep the drains dry and keep the incisions dry until everything is healed.